What's up guys, my name is Javier, you're watching Off-Road Icon, and today is episode 10. Finally, 10 weeks straight. And for episode 10, we're going to go ahead and take a tour of my 2015 Ram 2500. You can follow me on Instagram, off underscore road underscore icon. You'll know some of the things I've done to it since I started my channel. But this will give you a little brief catch up of where we're at. And this way, if you follow from now on, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know about the videos that come out every week. You can see what's going on with the truck every week. All the new scratches as well as the new mods. So let's jump on into the truck, show you what she looks like on the outside. She's a little dirty because I use my truck. And uh, just enjoy the ride. See you in a sec. Right, guys i got a 2015 ram 2500 it's all blacked out really dirty right now but i'll take you for the quick rock around if you've watched my last video i'll go ahead and link it down below you'll see where i took all the scratches out you can see it all nice and clean but today she is definitely dirty if there's any questions go ahead and comment down below again all the links will be in the description sorry for any of the road noise i do live off of a decent sized road I still am on stock rims, 35 inch tires. Well, let's dive on in from the front to the back, guys. So first and foremost, what you're gonna see is I did modify and took off the Mopar tow hooks. As you can see right there, I went for a D-ring style bracket and that's mostly to fit that 30 inch curved GG lighting double row G3. I'm really happy with the GG lighting bar. It's a really good price, it's been really good to me. And overall, it does exactly what I need and fits right in the spot that I want it to. Right next to that GG lighting bar is the Moshimoto's, I think it's Mo Moshimoto, Moshimoto, one of those two, the Moshimoto's fog light kits, 6,000K. Love them. They look better, especially when it's clean. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just give that nice light. I'm still running the blacked out factory headlights. I don't plan on changing them. I did change the projector lights of LED. And to beat it all out, I just took the resistors out using that ABD or OBD Alpha. Using that OBD Alpha. So I'm really happy with the whole setup now. I don't have to worry about any of the, any of the resistors. And I got a nice, nice 6000K lighting pattern. Coming on over to the side of the truck. What you'll see, my really dirty Fox 2.0s with my Carly 2.5 leveling kit. I have a BDS dual sway stabilizer bar, a Carly torsion bar, and an Icon suspension track bar. I do plan on upgrading my lower steering with the Synergy kit. I would love to put in the uh, Carly diff covers and a couple other things, but as you can see in there, See if I can get you guys a little better shot. Bring you around. You can see my little setup down there. Overall, it's been really good. Those Carly springs are way better than spacers. Anyone on spacers, I really, really would urge you to jump to some Carly full-size springs or you'll get a better ride. Fox 2.0s have been good so far. It's a little budget, but they're working. Budget was definitely in mind when I put those on. I couldn't afford the pin tops as much as I wish I could. Coming back up to lighting real quick. I got the GG Sidewinders on there. The hardware definitely needs to be changed out. It's getting a little rusty. It's supposed to be stainless. It looks pretty cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and swap those out in the future. But the lights are great. They're working perfect. I really just can't complain. The brackets are purchased off of Amazon. Again, I'll throw a link in the description below. Um, I don't know if they have a name brand standard hood, hood brackets hooked up right there to the bottom side of the hood. I'll pop my hood in a second and you can see what that's about. For all those who want to know, there's my Overland badge number. Hit me up. Let me know what you guys think. 
looking down a little lower i can see i'm on factory 20s looks like it's time for a brake job for sure the cooper stt pros you know they are not bad budget conscious what i will say is i'm getting quite a bit of chunks i'm getting some cracking you can kind of see down there in the bottom corner you can see some of that chunking coming off right there and uh overall the tire is held up i would say okay um it is chunking but as far as grips concerned you know ram 2500 cummins doesn't come with a locker so the limit slip is the only thing i got and the tires have definitely gotten me through everything i need to so in the rear if you've watched my other video you'll see where i put on this gator soft tonneau cover right here i love it guys it's working great uh, when it's clean it looks great and uh all in all i'm really happy with it 200 dollars bought it off of amazon installed in like 30 minutes catch the video link in the description below i think you guys will love it too fox 2.0 is in the rear i am running all rear st or stock components so except for the shocks pop the door open real quick for you guys amp steps so um you know i really would like some sliders but it's pretty nice on a 2500 to have some amp steps so i'm looking into some rally designs i think that might be where i go but that's so convenient guys oh before i forget my truck because it's a sport edition came with sport edition side view mirror so these are aftermarket i think they're a1 autos um you know they have all blinker flip up heated power folding um it was about a 700 dollar conversion if someone's interested in the sport mirrors i do have body colored sport mirrors you know dm me i'll go ahead and give you a price i don't need them i'm just probably, i'm just been sitting on them for a year overall these are great for anyone who's looking to swap out their sport mirrors and go to tow mirrors i love them but there's one little trick in regards to when this flips up and goes ahead and the controls the controls will be backwards there is a way to fix it i don't know if anyone's posted it yet but alpha obd guys i'm telling you your friend when it comes to anything cummins anything dodge all those features it unlocks them puts them back on exactly what you need a little dangerous a little tricky but if you're careful it'll be great keep swinging around to the back if you look right here you'll notice something i have taken off my rear sway bar um all in all i don't mind i get a little bit more body roll but other than that it's been great got my off-road icon instagram logo gotta add a youtube logo to that uh amazon rear third brake light if anyone knows these trucks they know they leak so third brake light probably gonna have to get replaced i got a little stubby antenna i've broken it off twice uh car wash you know motorized car wash automated car wash not that great but sometimes you get lazy maybe i should have done it before this video huh guys but hey let's jump inside all right i do have the leather package i do have the entertainments package eight inch screen i am at a 93,000 miles and i've put 50 something thousand of those miles on i do carry the bowfang at all times it's got a rugged radio bracket screwed in magnetized little hook so i can put this right on and off easy to reach a lot easier to get to uh put that back in focus a little easier to get to um you know i love it let's hop on in all right guys push button start boom 93,044. That's where my miles are at, guys. Ironworks 8 button special from Amazon. It's working great, guys. Um, real easy to hook up. My rock lights underglow, pretty much the same thing. It's just I have one set on the front, everything in front of the tires. The other sets on everything behind the tires. My front lights and then my ditch lights, my bumper light. You kind of see it turn on in the garage. Um, it works great, does what it needs to do. 
um, I'm actually really happy with it. It's like 110 bucks. I'll link that in the description below. If you're interested in something and you're on a budget, can't afford an S pod or something, um, I like it. I think it works great. I will definitely show you what I'm talking about. Right here, we got a Bayou mount. Gets rid of your little sunglass holder. That sunglass holder is garbage. So I definitely recommend this. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, it's just, you know, three inch would be nice. It's just a little small. Another item I have in here that's a must. Bam, right there, gentlemen and ladies. Phone holder. I will tell you what. The best, the 2015 should have came with this phone holder. So that is what I'm talking about. Amazon, your friend. <laughs> Next thing you guys, let me go ahead and turn the truck off real quick so we don't get any more interruptions from the music. I don't want to get any copyright infringements. Let's spin you around a little bit. I have added the locker down safe. As you can see, it's bolted in and uh, it's been really good. I do carry a CCW in California. And because of that, I had to put a safe into my truck. This, if anyone knows the Rams, they know they have a lot of space. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys for a little bit. Let's bleep it out and I'll put in my code. Let me open it up. It's spring loaded, you just let go. And as you can see, I carry my uh, spare wallet in here with some credit cards, a little bit of money. Leave it in there, not very much money, but all in all, lots of space for my firearm. And any valuables that I leave in the vehicle, um, it just definitely takes care of it. The other cool part is if I'm lazy and I don't want to have it closed all the time, it does close. I also get a secondary little pouch. Nothing in here, nothing special, nothing, anything that's been uh, modified. So that's great. Let's take you to the back, guys. All right, guys, this is the back of my Ram 2500. Um, I don't sit back here. My kids do. But we do a lot of back and forth to baseball, off-roading. Uh, one thing I say, I like bigger bottles. And as you can see right here, I got the Blue Ridge Overlanding backseat panels. They are really well made, nice and stiff. Um, I just can't say more about them check them out a little bit pricey guys but you definitely get what you pay for just everything in there is built better these guys right here they're made from i want to say gonex uh, found on amazon i think they're 12 dollars uh, they work great for what we use them for i put my nalgene bottle in there my kids put their hydro flask bottles in there and what we end up doing is my wife can use this one i use the one on the other side and my two boys use the outside ones for their bottles you know there's plenty of cup storage in a ram two up front four in the back but realistically what's that fitting guys a water bottle um you know we like our big bottles med kit up top guys I don't, I want to say that's just honestly an Amazon special and as well as these Tiger ones, I want to say, I think they are headrest adapters. Um, sometimes I'm into spending the extra money, sometimes when I don't feel it's necessary based on what I'm using it for, you know, we just put in what we need. So any questions guys, again, hit the comments down below. One last thing I want to show you guys in regards to the back of my truck. One thing I added, bed lights. Again, GG lighting 15 watt. These are also what's underneath my truck. See if I can get you a better photo of them. You see a lot of light side profile. I'll link them in the comments below. But uh, Rhino line the whole rear. Definitely needs to update the mat came with the truck, guys. I added the button because my truck did not have that factory. To Every time you open this, I guess for some people this could be a pain. You pull that in, you take it up, flip it. You can kind of see how the channel, oh, sorry guys. You can kind of see how the channels work right there. Here, there, it's a little ridge. Snap it down. So, that's the setup. Down at the bottom, back of the truck. Yes, there's my license plate. I am also AKA Sexy Recon. Um, all my hooks are Rhino USA along with their parts to get that adapter in i did change out my uh license plate lights to led and they are smoked and they are from amazon as well 
Uh, what else I put in? Bull ring, D rings. I don't use them that much, but I hated the hole. So that's kind of where that came from. So that is my Ram 2500 2015 year. Uh, again, it's got a 2.5 Carly lift, 2.0 Fox shocks, and Carly front torsion bar, Icon front track bar, a uh, was a BDF or BDS, sorry BDS dual stabilizer bar. Oh, I promised you one thing. Let's pop this hood open, and you guys can see what we did for the lights. Also, the amp research step is up there too. One thing that sucks about 2500, this hood is a pain. There she is, guys, inside. Still factory Ram air cleaner. I took off the silencer foam around the turbo air turbulence stabilizer thing. Dual battery, but anyone who owns a Ram knows it's not a true dual battery. It's more for the cranking. As you can see over here, this I definitely need to clean up. It's not horrible, but it's not mounted securely. I just need to get some new terminals. That is the 60 amp. I want to say it's 60 amp. Yeah, that is the 60 amp main fuse for the switch box. Here is the switch box here. And let's see if I can get it out. A little dirty, guys. And there you go. Definitely a little dirty. Got to clean her up a little bit. So you see the main ground going in. The the uh, main hot's going in and then every single one of those has a fuse different fuse rating it does come with extra fuses on the top of the box um I, if i were to do it again i think uh audio well, i don't want to say audio vox i thought it was makes the exact same thing it's got a little better quality to it it's a 100 amp system um the all all my connections are using the uh, i don't know how to say them dp connections i don't want to say what they anything but the acronym so um, but that's what they are using you can see my brackets from right there real simple guys uh real thick uh, they definitely held up no complaints at all and goodbye so hey guys what'd you think again that's my 2015 ram 2500 i really hope you like the build uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Some of the future endeavors are definitely some more Carly suspension parts. I need to get some diff cover parts. New tire is going to jump to 37s. I'm on 35s now. And uh, that's the goal. So follow along. Again, hit that subscribe bell notification below. Smash that like button if you like the video. If you don't like it, hit that down like button. And tell me. Tell me what I need to change. Maybe I got to work. I definitely need to work on some of my camera setup. So I know that part, guys. But if there's anything that you want to see better clarity, I'm working on it. Camera, I'm working on it. Should I have washed my truck? Let me know. Um, anything you guys want to comment on. I do my best to comment to every single one, good or bad. Tell your friends. Hey, I'm based out of Southern California. If there's trails you want to see me hit, let me know. This is a big body boy. You want to see where I got some of these scratches and some of this dirt from? Check out below. My friends at Dirt Nation put out a video. All big body rams, a couple of Fords, a couple of Chevys out there too. But us big boys took on Cleghorn right here in Southern California. And you know what? I went in with no, went in with no scratches. Well, I went in with one scratch from Moab. As far as a dent. Let's say one dent from Moab. I definitely came out with pinstripes. Check out that video below where I helped get rid of those. And at the end though, I walked out with no dents. Thank you, George. He's the best spotter that I've seen right now. And at the very end, if you catch it, I help somebody else out. That's the power of a Cummins, baby. So hope you liked the video, guys. Go ahead and subscribe. Please hit that bell and like notification. And I will catch you real soon. And I'm going to put out new videos every Friday. See you in the next one.